my channel. My name is Shanika E and welcome to a daily vlog. Today is September 15th. It is Friday and I am super excited because guess what girl? Today we chose ourselves. I took a PTO day today because your girl needed it. If you watched my last vlog, I just was not feeling it. I was all over the place with my emotions and I said, you know what? I'm taking a PTO day. So I have that PTO day in. We are going to do some self care by way of tapping in and spending time with God. I already feel like 10 times better. I woke up this morning, took my son to the bus stop. I went to Target and picked up some of those espresso pods. So I'm gonna go ahead and make myself an at home brown sugar shaken espresso. We will make that one together. I also took a long bubble bath this morning, hydrated my skin, I narrowed my legs, did my hair a little bit shy. I'm feeling very, very relaxed. And most importantly, I sat in God's presence and I am feeling 100% better. I watched a Sarah Jake's um, sermon. I will pop it up here for you guys and link it in the description bar down below. But I'm feeling a little bit rejuvenated and I am going to continue to love on myself as well as stay in God's presence today. Like you know those days when you just want to sit in the energy of a loved one, be it a best friend, your spouse, just, you know, anybody that's going to fill you up. But for me today, I really just want to sit in the presence of God and allow him to fill me up today. And this morning is nothing short of that. So I'm super excited to continue on with this day. I need to open up some packages, girl. So we're about to go get these packages. I'm a little bit ashamed because it's so much. Like I came home and my husband just had them like spread out in the entryway table. And I was like, dang, who told him to go get all these packages? Sometimes I'll be trying to get down there to the packages before he can get to them so he won't see the magnitude of my shopping. But I told y'all, I am so excited for fall fashion, but for fall in general, because spiritually for me, I really feel like this season is just ushering in a new way of being. And I'm so excited to tap into that, to spend some time with God today and find some divine direction for my next steps. So yeah, let's get these packages and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Ciao, look at this. Look, look at these packages just sitting here at the front. I'm, mm, let, let's open them up. All right, so I've dragged all of those packages from point A to point B, don't judge me, and let's open them up and see what we have. Now, some of this is work-related stuff. I am partnering up with T Mu. I'm very excited about that. I have selected a few pieces for their anniversary sale that I'm going to be showing you guys in a separate video. So I may or may not open those items on camera with you, but I will show you this first thing. This is from Amazon. And I do know exactly what this is, child, because they are the infamous Bottega Duke. Um, sunglasses so I've been wanting these sunglasses for a minute and at first it was taking like a really long time for them to get back in stock but now they are back and I'm ready to try them on they may not be giving as much with um, no makeup so we shall see but anyway guys, these are it these are the sunglasses I'm sure you have been seeing them all over I am obsessed. They feel like a really good quality. I love the tint on them. The test is going to be if these are large enough for my head. Y'all, I got a like really wide big head. So let's see. Ooh, I think I like them. Again, the test is really going to be when I put my makeup on, but you know, for now, I think it's fitting the face fine. I like them. What do you guys think? They were, I think they were $15.99. Again, I really do like these glasses. When I put my makeup on a little bit later on today, I think I'm going to head out and get lunch, go thrifting, get my toes done. Again, all about me, self-care day, super excited. And then we'll pop these on then to see what they're giving at that time. But I think I like them. 
The next thing is going to be this House of Autumn Hair. So a good friend of mine, his wife, owns her own hair company. And you know your girl loves to change out our hair. And at this stage, I'm over this, this little natural length. I want something that's a little bit more vibey. So if you want to support a Black-owned woman business, go ahead and hit her up. I will put her information on the screen as well as in the description bar down below. But again, it is House of Auden, I believe. And I got some Cambodian bundles. So let's check these out. Super excited about this. My girl Bree is going to be here on Monday. So we're gonna be vlogging that. She is going to be doing my hair for me, girl. And y'all know, when, when Bree getting his head, it hit, all right? So shout out to, again, House of Auden. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. All right, so again, I got four bundles. These are raw bundles. Let's see. Ooh, I'm in like, so excited. Look at, girl, look at that bounce. Let's do the test to see if there's any shedding. So I'm running my hands through them. Okay, okay. No shedding none whatsoever and there are a few tangles and so that is a great thing that i get to run my hands through the hair and nothing comes out even with my ring i could have I accidentally snagged it i got four bundles of the 20 inch so super excited about this and i cannot wait to install this again thank you so so much for thinking of me and i'm super excited to try these out what else we got over here, girl? Ooh, we got some more fall fashion. So I have been wanting a denim maxi skirt for a while now. So I have one from the thrift store, love it down. It's very unique. It's like patchwork style. It's like someone took a couple of pair of Levi's jeans and threw them together. I love that, but it's a very specific vibe. Um, so I wanted something a little bit more clean cut. And so I found one from ASOS. So let's open this up. My struggle is I wanted something that was floor length. I am 5'7", so I wanted something that would scrape the floor and not be too fitted um, in my waist. So I have ordered several and had to either send them back or donate them because they're, they weren't hitting the floor and they were a little bit too tight, like around my waist and butt area. So again, let's look at this one. And then of course I'll try it on for y'all as well. But maxi skirts, I told y'all last video, are definitely in for the season, specifically denim maxi skirts. Okay, okay, I'm off the top. It looks like it is going to be big enough. I did order a size up. This is a US 14, I am a US 12, but I did want it to just kind of sit on my waist, but this may be a little bit too big. <sighs> let's see, let's, let's try it on. All right, so ignore the lighting over here. It is a little dim, but this is what the skirt is looking like. Now, um, just what I thought, it is too big in the waist, but that is fine. We can either do a style hack or we can get this tailored. So I may end up taking this to the tailor because I really do like it. As you can see, it is floor length and beyond. That's another reason why I sized up was because I wanted the extra fabric so that it can really like drape the floor. So if I get it tailored, let me go ahead and show you guys. To fit on the waist like this, it'd be really, really cute, but I love the way it flows away from the body and I love the slit here. It doesn't go up too high, but it does break it up a little bit if you have a really nasty boot on. Super, super cute. This is what it looks like in the back. Again, just too big. I don't know, like if I was to get the 12, would it give? I feel like it would, I don't know. What y'all think? If I got the 12, would it be too fitted? I feel like it would be too fitted here and i don't want that so i'm going to keep this size i really do like it i like the wash on it it's cute 
we can keep it and we will style it up in future videos. So make sure you are subscribed. Again, the fall content is going to be everything. Really like this. Oh, and this two-piece set that I am wearing, this top and bottom I got from Target this morning. Super cute, very comfortable. Highly recommend. If it's available or if I can find it online, I will link it and the skirt as well. So this is the full set, top and bottom. I think the bottoms were like... $14.99 in the top, maybe I think $10.99. Really, really good. Again, very comfortable and from Target. All right, so the last package that I'm gonna go ahead and open up with you guys is one that I got from H&M. This is just a lightweight sweater. I really like the, the, the look of this and the color. I feel like this color is going to be really cute with camos khaki like trousers things like that like that smart casual look Ooh, and i love the weight to it oh i like this look at this and this was on like uber sale i want to say girl i know it was less than 20 dollars. i think it was something crazy like 12.99 but i love this i love how wide and boxy it is so it's going to be like really really cute again like cropped and tucked into something high-waisted. Again, I envisioned this with some camo pants, my orange bag, and just a, you know, a chill date night vibe or going out with the girls. Really, really like this. If it is available, I will link it as well. So the other two packages are from Team U. I am going to save those and unbox them in another video. So if you're interested in what I picked up from Team U, stay tuned. Um, but yeah, I think I am going to tune in, watch some YouTube videos, worship a little bit, sit with God, and then do my makeup, girl, because we're gonna get we're gonna get out here in these streets, I think. Because it also looks like it's about to rain. And I don't like I don't like vibing in the rain. It's not really my thing. So we will see. We will take it a few steps at a time. But again, girl, take that PTO. Think about yourself first. And use your PTO like you work for it. And I'm so happy that I'm using mine. Okay? Okay, so boom. This is random, guys. <laughs> but I had to insert this footage. So I am currently vlogging. But I started opening up my T new packages. Baby, please don't sleep. Please don't sleep. I've been wanting a pair of just like clear um, blue light style glasses because they're such a vibe. I have silver framed ones, but these, girl, look, look, look at how stunning these are. They are so good. They are so good. And as I'm opening up all of this stuff from Team U, you see how my mouth is agape? Excuse me, excuse me. Like this is sponsored content, but I have ordered from Team U before, like with my own money, the calendars that I have on my refrigerator, which I'll show you guys a little bit later on that I use to plan for me and my family, keep us organized. Those are from Team U. Like y'all better look out. All of these like larger places where these, I mean, online hubs, so to speak, where you can get pretty much anything from fashion, to household, to tech on Team U, stop playing with them. And your girl got a discount code too. Mm. But these right here, so good. And I believe they were less than $5. I'm obsessed. I know my ring light is like in the shot and kind of messing it up, but the quality is good. They are so cute. It's taking everything in me not to show you guys the rest of this stuff, but stay tuned. Stay tuned. So I am hungry. I haven't eaten today and it's 1126. So I think I'm about to get some of the shrimp that I picked up from Trader Joe's yesterday. Let me show you guys. So this is the shrimp that I picked up from Trader Joe's yesterday. This is called Shrimp Boomba. Crispy battered tail off round shrimp with sweet and spicy sauce. These Girl, these are so good. Screenshot it if you have to. 
I am obsessed with these. Now shrimp is my favorite food. So I think I'm gonna throw these either over into a salad or eat them on their own for a quick lunch. I'm gonna fill up, or maybe not fill up on these, but go ahead and put something on my stomach. Sit down, like I said, watch a sermon, YouTube videos, something like that before I head out to the thrift store and potentially the nail salon. Girl, I'm not a fan of nail salon. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I don't wear like acrylic nails and things like that. I think they're gorgeous, but I'm so impatient. I don't like sitting, I don't like the sounds of the nail salon, all the scraping and the digging, and I don't like what it does to my natural nails. So when I do get my nails done, I'll just get like a gel polish on my nails, but my toes look a fool. So <laughs> I may muster up enough strength to go to get my toes done and then maybe a manicure, but let's go ahead and make this shrimp. I'm gonna pop it in the air fryer and then, yeah, relax for about an hour, hour and a half. About to get ready to head out so i'm going to go ahead and attempt to make that brown sugar shaken espresso at home so you guys see me pick up these pods this morning from target i'm going to go ahead and add in the espresso brew this first add some ice and a tablespoon of brown sugar i believe the recipe calls for and then we're going to shake it in the thermos and then i'll show you guys the next steps in a moment smells so good. All right, so here is our shot. Very short, powerful punch of caffeine, which I need because girl almost fell asleep on the couch. But anywho, we're going to put some ice in this tablespoon of brown sugar and shake. Now I'm gonna go ahead and brew the regular Starbucks coffee. All right, so our regular cup of Starbucks coffee has brewed. Girl, it smells so good in here. We're gonna pour this directly into the espresso shot with the brown sugar with the ice and give it a shake. All right, now that it's shaken, it looks nice and frothy. We're just gonna pour it in. Ooh, cute. And then we're gonna add this sweet cream cold foam on top. I'm gonna do without the cinnamon on top. Give it a stir. All right, and then we'll taste it. All right, so we are in the car and y'all, when I say the at-home brown sugar shaken espresso, is everything girl i went ahead and transferred it back into my thermos because we're about to go to the thrift store a little bit more on that later but it is so good 
the ingredients will be in the description bar down below girl but this tastes like 10 times better than the one from starbucks it is so good mm. so good so frothy and like it's a little bit sweeter because you can add you know, as much of the cold foam as you want but anywho we are about to head to the thrift store because i'm really looking for some fall knitwear and some fall jackets so hopefully we can find that i also went downstairs and found my last team mew purchase that is going to be in that sponsored video that i told you guys about i have some items from children's place for my son and my dining chairs Ooh, my dining chairs have made it and i cannot wait to get back home and unbox them with you guys i am so excited i'll let you guys know what I think of them. I think they're gonna be excelente. They were gifted to me from the brand. Super excited. I'll also show you guys the dining table that I picked up. Mm, yeah. I'm not obsessed with it, you know. I took the cheap route out and I think it's gonna give me the same vibe, but I'm probably just going to hold out for the one that I really want, but it, the dining table will be a placeholder for now. But anywho, let's head to the thrift store. pieces and I am absolutely obsessed with how this area is coming along so let's get into the details the table is I believe the table is from all modern this was a pickup from my husband this is the one that I was telling you guys I wasn't really a fan of but it'll work for now but the chairs girl get into it they are so so nice they're in a nice like velvet material i love that they have this kind of rounded back so they go with the curvature of the table beautifully and as i stated i did get two from the company so shout out to daya lane again if i'm butchering the name it will be on the screen so shout out to them for sending over these two chairs love them so much that i bought them e immediately on the top right now just kind of have some filler stuff not sure if this will stay but this is just a wooden bowl that i got from the thrift store the moss that's inside i actually picked up from the target dollar spot about three months ago yeah and then i'm burning a pumpkin and cinnabon candle because yeah it's that time and for my new end pieces from amazon are these cute little tables so they came as a set i will pop up pictures of what they look like together kind of styled up but i didn't need them as a coffee table they're actually marketed as a coffee table but i needed something for this side of my living room because when you sit there you need a place to kind of put your drinks or whatever so that works perfectly there. And then same for this spot here, a place to put a drink. So that's why you see the coasters here. Still no curtains. <laughs> so your girl's struggling with getting the curtains, but everything else is coming along. The bar cart still a work in progress. So yeah, that is what the living room is looking like now. I'm liking the vibes. Again, as soon as I can get some curtains or something like that, I feel like the area will look a little bit more complete. So stay tuned for <laughs> the search that continues with finding some curtains. But I'm loving the way it turns out. And I feel like this area plays really well with this area. And then this, woo, I am so excited. I am so excited. So again, if you're interested in the chairs, they will be linked in the description bar down below, as well as a 15% off discount code using my name, Shanika. 
super excited. Oh, and the future plans for this area as well. I think, I think we're gonna get a kind of cowhide style rug to ground this area. Thinking about that because the vibes and the colors, it'll really warm up the space, but loving how this is turning out. So, so cute, obsessed. grocery store haul got some salad mix this one is the honey ginger i never use the salad dressing just the i like the romaine lettuce that is in it this one is spinach and bacon pick these croissants up from kroger to go with this tuna this is one of my favorite packs of tuna got these for my son he enjoys these for his lunches at school chips little debbie cakes more flowers because these have had it a lemon cake some chicken sausage i'm going to make a dip today with this cream cheese and this rotel more chips chips for the dip orange juice coke mustard some poppies baked beans a pizza chicken nuggets popsicles for my son, chicken sausage for breakfast, cheese, butter, and fruit. let's get cooking on this football Saturday I'm gonna be making this dip you're gonna need two packages of the Delia's chicken sausage two cream cheese and two mild rotel dips I love this particular recipe it will work for a smaller crowd or a larger crowd just use equal parts throughout so if it's just you you can do one one and one for us I did two two and two and if you have a larger group of people you can do three three and three or four four and four I'm obsessed with this recipe try it out and let me know what you guys think I'm gonna be topping mine off with some poppy and why not have it in a wine glass girl it tastes better that way <laughs> and this is what it's gonna look like it only takes a good 15 to 20 minutes to cook the longer you let it sit the longer the flavors will blend together i'm obsessed and it's so quick so easy and so good
morning y'all today definitely feels like a monday morning but it is tuesday and this is how my hair turned out i really really like it the hair is really full it has a lot of texture it as you can see holds a curl beautifully i did dye it jet black and you see the blend very seamless so shout out to my girl Bree. if you're interested in her her information will be in the description bar down below as well as the information for this hair again i have in four bundles of the cambodian body wave these are raw bundles so if you're interested again make sure to check the description bar but i am going to go ahead and take my gummies this morning make some coffee and go ahead and get started uh, but yeah, it's feeling like Monday blues today, even though your girl hair looks really, really cute. All right, let's get started. I miss you. I miss you today. I miss you today, too. just gotten off of work got into the house as you guys seen I made a beeline to my cabinets to get my wine glass because normally downstairs we have um, complimentary wine and beer on tap so I just knew I was about to give me some red wine come back in and relax from this long day baby tell me what the machine was dead oh I'm so annoyed <laughs> And I am so tired. Again, I've had a long day. Aunt Flo is here. She has drained me. So I'm about to get out of my work clothes, do a little bit of skincare, relax, have a nice spa evening, eat some of the food that I picked up from um, Publix Girl because I cannot be bothered to cook. So yeah, that's what we're looking like tonight. And let me get this makeup off my face so I can get comfortable. Oh, and the hair, she's giving. She's she's definitely giving. So again, if you're interested in this hair, I will link it in the description bar down below. House of Autumn. Give me a run for the money. There is nobody, no one can run. Don't drown this party won't end If I didn't 
I'm a young, I'm on the way, no mind no way. I don't want pressure, you not. I want your blessing that day. Oh, by the way, open the door, by the way. No, you think I'm on the way, I'm on the way. I know connection is vague. They got the phone for me, babe. Damn it, we can't be. Hey, 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 for your daddy. Curve it, yo, get from your memory. Remember, I did them. I took this to your camera. I know time will be mad at me. I have to do it. I want your money and use it. I'm about to be one of the rules. Look what you made. Don't you think I'm on the way? I'm like an exit away. Yep. y'all today is wednesday i am sitting at the kitchen table getting a little bit of work done and i realized i did not close out the vlog i have went ahead and start filming my fall trends video so if you're interested in that it should be live if not before this video then immediately after so make sure to check that video out again i truly appreciate each and every one of you for rocking with me and watching my vlogs when i started out on this journey i was so nervous but i asked god to open up my heart and allow me to be a little bit more vulnerable and authentic with you guys and you all seem to be enjoying it so thank you so much for subscribing to my channel it truly means the world to me and i will see you guys in the next one you can bye y'all as long as you keep your head to the sky be optimistic